there, and welcome to Game the Game. I'm your host, Becca Scott, and every week on this show, I get to introduce you guys to a new amazing tabletop game. This week, we are playing Ex Libris, and before I introduce you to my wonderful guests, let me show you how to play. We're trading tomes and banning books. That's right, it's Ex Libris from Renegade Games. <laughs> This book broker bonanza pits one to four players against each other in a competition to become the grand librarian of the city. Setup begins with the town board placed center and the diviner's hut, known as location number one, right below it. Then shuffle the remaining location tiles and place them nearby. That's gonna be your draw deck. The player who most recently acquired a new book takes the first player token and then they will shuffle the 12 library tiles, dealing out two per player. In reverse order from that first player, everybody gets to choose one library tile for themselves and discard one that they don't want other players to have. Each librarian then takes the special assistant indicated on their library card and two standard assistants in whatever color they would like. These are the main workers of the game and allow players to access special abilities on the location tiles. Next, shuffle the six category cards and place one face up on the prominent work section of the town board and another on the banned book section. Then deal one face down to each player. This secret card is the librarian's focus and will earn that player bonus points for each book of that category they have at the end of the game. Finally, shuffle the 152 book cards, deal six to each player, and place the remainder in two equal stacks within reach. The goal of Ex Libris is to create the most magnificent book collection by the final round, based on a whole bunch of factors. Now we'll get to scoring in a minute, but for now, let's look at the book cards. The top portion contains all the important info you need. The first letter of the book titles on that card, the numerical order of that card within that letter, and the category icons of the books. The six book categories of the game include Corrupted Codices, Fantastical Fictions, Historic Volumes, Monster Manuals, Reference Texts, and Spells and Potions. Memorize them, they're important. As players begin acquiring new books, they're going to shelve them in their play area. To legally shelve, a new book card must be placed orthogonally adjacent to an already shelved card. No diagonals are allowed, people. Additionally, a player's bookshelf can never be more than three rows tall. Gameplay for Ex Libris occurs over several rounds, each divided into four phases. In the preparation phase, whomever has the first player token reveals location tiles from the deck and sets them face up below the town board, until the number of locations equals the number of players. Now since the Diviner's Hut starts the game there, you'll draw one less than usual in the first round. If any of those locations have prep instructions on the top right, deal that number of book cards onto the right side of the location tile. If multiple cards are required, splay them vertically so you can see all the cards info. Next in the placement phase, starting with the first player, everyone takes a turn placing one assistant at a time in an unoccupied space on either one of the public location tiles or their own library tile. Normal and special assistants both fulfill the requirements to activate that tile, but your own special assistant has a special ability that can trigger as well. Each library has a unique special assistant, like this snowman right here. If he's played, other assistants cannot use that same tile this round. When placing an assistant on a tile, the effect will occur either instantly in the case of a green location, or later in the resolution phase if it's a red location. Location tiles may include their name and color, a location number used in the resolution phase, preparation instructions, the effect description, and assistant spaces. Some tiles have assistant spaces available only in three and four player games. You can tell because they have a three or a four on them. A player's individual library tile can also be used by assistants to either draw one card or shelve one card. Starting out, this is the primary way to begin shelving book cards. When all players have run out of assistance to place, the resolution phase begins. Players resolve location tiles in numerical order, starting with the Diviner's Hut. 
To resolve a location, players activate any delayed effects first if the tile happens to be red, then discard any cards on that location, and finally return all assistance on the tile to their players. After all locations have been resolved, the cleanup phase begins. My favorite! First, take the location tile below the town board that comes first in numerical order, and it will now become a permanent location, so you'll put it in the permanent location section. These tiles are available for the rest of the game. The Diviner's Hut will be the first permanent location in each game because it begins out and is the number one location. Next, discard the remaining location tiles and return any assistance on their library tiles back to their players. Before starting a new round with the preparation phase, first check to see if the number of shelved cards by one player is enough to trigger the end game. Depending on the number of players in the game, if the card requisite has been reached, then the next round is the final round, after which players will total their points. If not, a new round begins as normal. Once the final round is over, the player with the very best handwriting takes the B7C form and the role of official inspector, who scores for each player based on the following criteria. Alphabetical order. Starting with the top left book and moving right, the inspector will flip the first card not in alphabetical and numerical order, showing an empty shelf section. The category icons on that card no longer count to your final total. However, prior to inspection, players may choose to flip any of their own cards to get a more favorable result. Shelf Stability. The largest rectangular group of book cards, even the flipped ones, in each player's area will score one point per book card in the rectangle. The shape must be at least two cards wide and two cards tall, and must include cards on the bottom row of your bookcase. Prominent Works. The players who have the most prominent works in their collection receive a bonus point award. First place earns 15 points, second earns 9, and third gets 4. Banned Books. Each book in this category scores minus 1 point, so be real careful how many you load up on your shelf. Categorical Variety. Variety is the spice of life, people. Players earn three points for every book in their collection of the least populated category. So for example, I've only got two monster manuals here, so times that by three and that's six points for me. Library Focus. Finally, players score two points per book in their secret category, which they can now reveal. Total up them points and the highest scorer wins. And that's Ex Libris. I'm Becca Scott, and one time I lived in a library for a whole month. Now that I've taught you how to play wearing a different colored lipstick, let me introduce you to these people. Starting way over here, we've got Amy Vorpal. You guys know her, you love her. She's everywhere on Geek and Sundry, and a nerdist, and doing all the things, and being wonderful, and dungeon. Mistressing. Mm -hmm. oh, no. Do I, do I say mastering. something now? Yeah, now you can say whatever you want. Go. Hi, Becca. I love the color of lipstick, but and I'm pretty sure I loved the previous color of lipstick too. Thank you. <laughs> um, I also say people can say a catchphrase here if oh. it feels right. Uh, oh, okay. Um, oh boy. <laughs> uh, oops. <laughs> <I'd like laughs> what to, have you done? <laughs> I like to really just throw that uh, at you. No warning. Um, from the elemental plane, plane of fire, behold. My everlasting flame. Is that good? <laughs> yeah, nailed it okay. so hard. Great. Uh, Clay Larson. Hello. Amazing photographer, actor, improviser. Thank you. Uh, many other things. Also a dungeon master. What's up? A dungeon mistress. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I did I'll that. Be a, I'll why be did a I dungeon, ginger it? I'll be a dungeon, dungeon mistress, a mm -hmm. master, whatever I the also situation am fluid. calls for. Yes. A, a dungeon submissive. Uh, uh, a dungeon person. Oh, I'm a dungeon. dungeon. How about dom. a dungeon? Dungeon oh. human. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Catchphrase. Catchphrase. If you are ever given the opportunity to be a gelatinous cube, you be a gelatinous cube. You really grab life by the gelatinous cubes. <laughs> <laughs> I just put my hands in that gooey center and squeeze. Always be yourself, unless you can be a gelatinous <laughs> cube. <laughs> and on my left, we have Tyler Beardsley, actor, game enthusiast. Also a dungeon master. We just got a whole table of them. It's I know. Awesome. That's why I had to point it out for everyone. Are we gonna role play exciting. books? <laughs> we totally can. Everybody's just gonna be like trying to direct the narrative yes. <laughs> of this game that has no narrative. Yes. Let's just create our own yes. new items all the time. Yeah. Yeah. But as mostly player, I will just try and blow stuff up and fight things. Cool. Yeah. Good. Uh, yeah. Catchphrase. Words are wisdom. Ew. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, but... Books. Yeah, it was okay. good. Now, to determine first player, we need to determine who last acquired a book. 
When was the last book you guys acquired? About a month ago for me, for my uh, birthday. Yeah, I did. It was at the begin, definitely the beginning of this month in a April for the Golden Compass. I think in oh Golden Compass. With, I'm reading along with Alpha Book Club. Oh, nice. Oh. Yeah. I ordered Dreams from My Father, Barack Obama's book that he wrote when like before he was a senator. Um, I've only gotten like ten pages in, but cool. um, that was the last. Well, book you I got. can't finish a book without reading one page. Oh, good point. <laughs> but I finished so many audiobooks between us. <laughs> <laughs> I got mine yesterday. Whoa! Oh, Dramatic yeah. pose. <laughs> He's got catchphrases. He's got poses. Oh, yeah. I was not prepared for this. <laughs> I wasn't prepared either. <laughs> to be fair, he His got a whole handbook that you guys weren't privy to. Copy. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. All right, so we've determined Tyler is first player. Congratulations, sir. And what is your character and what is their power? I'm the junkyard of enlightenment, and I have the trash golem as my cool character. Uh, his power is he, I can take and or shelve one card that would be discarded from each location as it resolves. So you basically just dig through the trash, great. Well, Amy, what you got? Uh, I am do? the volcanic biblioteca, the volcanic biblioteca, the fire imp. I may discard one card from a location to perform one home action, or I may discard all cards to perform two home actions. And so now you've committed to doing that accent the whole game. Oh, <laughs> cool. you have blessed me. <laughs> <laughs> Playing with dungeon masters. Hey. It says biblioteca. I'm so not supposed to do a Spanish accent after that. <laughs> That's true. That's good. Yeah. I thought you nailed it. It was kind of like a Spanish vampire. Play? Uh, I am playing the gelatinous cube from the dungeon of deep thought. Uh, and I've decided that this gelatinous cube's name is Durpin. Durpin. <laughs> 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 My name is Durpin. I'm a gelatinous cube. <laughs> uh, I've got, I've got, uh, let's call this Svelteguard. Mm. Uh, he's a bookworm in the Garden of Education, and my home action would be to draw or shelve. I can do both with Svelteguard. Mm. Uh, all right, so Tyler, first pick, where would you like your first assistant to go? So Rummage Sale says take one card from this location, take one additional card if another assistant is already here. Uh, new, all newly acquired cards could be shelved. So you get to pick, we've got an I, a B, and a T up here. Uh, and it does also give you an ability to immediately shelve, which shelving, unless you're doing your home action, mm. it's not always something you can count on. It's true. Uh, I should mention our prominent works that everybody's trying to go for is Historic Volumes, the yellow card. Our banned book is Fantastical Fictions. So that's going to be minus one point for each instance of it in your library or in your collection. And uh, that's the green card. Reveal any number of cards from your hand. In turn order, each opponent may take or shelve one of those or pass. Continue till all revealed cards are gone or all opponents have passed. And then for each one that's taken or shelved by an opponent, draw two cards and then shelve any one card from your hand. Oh, interesting. That's a real complicated yard sale. I see why only one person can do it. The Diviner's Hut is draw one card for every assistant played. Rummage sale, take something that's here. Uh, you can do more if there's somebody else already there. And the bookseller is just take one card from this location and shelve it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Well, I just shelve it. Just I'm, shelve it. I'm gonna start with the bookseller. Actually, good I choice. think it's a good opening move. And can I have the H at the top there? Oh my! Ooh, with that. three prominent that works is, already. It's a big opening play. It is yellow, and it's H, and that is three yellows, and that is Hufflepuff. For sure. Are For you sure. a Hufflepuff? I am all. I am the triumvirate of everything, but still Slytherin. <laughs> so you can't. You can't. That's Don't right. at me. <laughs> I'm Slytherin. Not really. <laughs> not in tests, but in my heart and in my color oh. choice. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we couldn't be more opposite. I'm every other house than you. Uh, who's next? Well, Amy, that would be you. <laughs> okay, me. Um, can I if, I, if I go here, can I immediately do my shelving? Sure. You sure can. You can shelve one thing. Okay, well, I don't want to. I just was curious. <laughs> um, but I do want to rumage. Ooh, she rumages. Um, and I, and I, let's see what I get to do. Take a card, take an additional card. Oh, all right. If there's another person there. Yeah, I like the variety that we're doing <laughs> with the bees, so I'm gonna take a bee. Mm. 
Clay, have you planned? Do you know Do you know what's happening? You can shelve that, shelve oh, that. I can immediately, immediately shelve it. I do not immediately want to shelve it. Uh, I have been paying attention, like you said, and I think I'm going to uh, also go to the Romage sale. Ooh. Uh, and I'm going to take, so since there's someone there, I think I get both of them. You get both of those right. cards. And I can shelve them both if I want. I believe so. All newly acquired cards may be shelved. Um, so I, and this is a question I forgot to ask earlier. Do we have a hand limit? No. Nope. Great. Oh. Oh, can I actually do? Can I do shelve it? Can I shelve? No, because did you back? draw? Oh no, you went. Yeah. You went. Oh, I you did just change sale. my mind. Okay. Well, here's the thing. You have to be super <laughs> honest and only shelve the one that you took. It was. It was this one. I believe I you. I swear. Because I love and trust you. I swear on the on my entire elemental plane of fire. And just for OCD sake and consistency, can you do your whole collection above your character card? Yes. Thank you. And I think I'll shelve, I'm gonna go out on a limb, hope my alphabetical skills in placing these books pans out. I'm gonna put that T right up there underneath it. The alphabetizing um, is always the hardest part. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. You know what? I don't know that it's alphabetizing. It's just knowing that there are these other numbers that are happening that like really, you know, messes with me a Ugh, little bit. Totally messes. I'm gonna tell you this. I don't think there's any way this goes wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna be a little crazy. Okay. And I'm gonna do a yard sale. So I get to reveal cards from my hand, and in turn order, everybody can take or shelve one of them or pass. And we keep doing that until all the cards are gone or everybody has passed. And then. In, for each card taken, I draw two. Well, um... Do you hate your hand? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't name my, my bulbous fire flame. Yeah, oh, you I should probably name either. it. What is yours? I'm name? gonna be Carb Gluck. The trash golem. Ooh, awesome. Car car carb Gluck. Carb, carb Gluck. gluck. Carb gluck. Real glutton for carbs. The trash carb golem. Gluck. <laughs> I'm gonna be Chisara. Chisara. So fancy. Yeah. In dirt. She's endurance. extra. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Chisara. Oh my gosh, are you getting rid of all of your hands? I'm getting rid of most of my hand. Five of my six cards. So, starting with Tyler, would you like any of these cards? Just take one at a time. You like get something if I take them, right? I yes. draw two. For everyone that we take? Mm hmm. Well, I know one that's getting a pass. I'm gonna take one, actually. Oh, I'll just take two cards. Okay, I'm gonna start a little pile. Oh wait, and I can shelve it. You right? may shelve it immediately, yes. Or I can just choose to take it. Yes, yeah, so you I'm can gonna, put it in your I'm hand. I'm actually gonna take this one, okay, not cool. shelve it. When you have very little already shelved, it's like, oh, if it's not next to it in the yeah, alphabet. It's like, why would I do that? Or way far away so you could do a different row, yeah. Amy. Maybe. Do I want your BS that you've put on this table that There's has so many fantastical fictions I want to vomit? Um, <laughs> I, I just had a wills. whole lot of banned books in my hands. And yeah, I, I will take this one because I and I'll shove it immediately. Because cool, cool, look, cool. B one out of ten, no big deal. A right after that, and five out of seven. Yeah, yeah, it's like perfect. That perfect. worked out well for you. Yep, I'll take two more cards. Sure. Um, hey, Becca, I don't want your trash. Wow. Yeah. You don't want no trash. All right, so that's one pass. We'll keep going until these cards are gone or everyone's passed. Tyler, would you like something else? Would you fill my yard sale? Hmm? It's just me, the Svelteguard. Nope. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say nope to Svelteguard. Nope to, nope to Svelteguard. Shisara will burn your books before they go into her library. So that's a pass? That's a pass. That's a dramatic wow. pass. Wow, okay, so what do I do with the other ones? For each of your revealed cards taken or shelved, draw two, then shelve any one card from your hand. So I think I take these back up. Ooh. It doesn't say that I discard everything else. So I will take them back up. And now you guys know. Now you yeah, know. you got some pretty fantastical yeah. fictions going on there. It's true. Hmm. Okay, and I can shelve one thing. I have nothing shelved at this point, so might as well do that. You know, it's so hard to remember what letters go where. I'm gonna start with shelving a W with things like wyverns or dragons too. I'm not embarrassed to admit, I've already at least twice run through the alphabet song in my head <laughs> oh, to yeah. remind me, wait, okay. just 100% sure which letter comes first. Totally, I think one? that's another you reason. You mean A, B, C, D, E, F, G, <laughs> that alphabet song? Yeah. Okay, that's Do you go cute. all the way to the little bit at the end of the song? No, now I, I well, know my age. I'm only a T. I haven't needed to get there yet. <laughs> gotcha. 
an yeah. MMP. But if you get to Z, then you have to do the rest, right? <laughs> Are you trying to screw up my memory of the order no, of letters? That's how kids say it. M and M P. Oh yeah. Well, Tyler, it's come back to you, and you get to place another assistant. It can be your special trash golem or your regular guy. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do another regular guy, and he's actually just gonna go on my home, my home base cool. on the junkyard of enlightenment. Ooh. And I'm gonna play, shelve, I should say, a card from my hand. H five out of ten, right next to my H six out of ten. Nothing's going between those. Look, Look at, at that. All that yellow on his shelf. I'm just a yeah. history master. It's true. It must be. Okay. And we know that. Oh yeah, because it's not since it's there, it's not possible that his focus is historical. Correct. Well, that's now good. It's Amy's turn. All right, I'm gonna go crazy. Um, Chasara is feeling slighted after that trash that garbage she had to look at, so she's going to discard all cards to perform no. two home actions. Bye bye books. Wait, discard, discard all cards to perform two home actions. I believe you have to discard all the cards in your hand. No, may discard one card from a location to perform one home action, or discard all cards to perform two home actions. Damn. I think that means location. That sounds right. All right, I'll accept. Okay, so what Shisara. Epic, what an epic! She just wow. burned all the she books. She just walked Shisara into a, a book bookseller. Burner. Yes. And do burned not, everything. You do she not lit them want on fire. to. Cannibal. You do not want to mess with Chisara. You guys are doing great on the alphabetizing. Uh, I'm, I've got A's and B's, so I, I feel pretty confident about this. Mm -hmm. um, and the game ends when there's 12, right? When the first player is put down 12, it will trigger the end game, and then there's one okay. final round. I feel really good about my top row, but I need to expand. <laughs> A pass. I'm, I'm done. There you go. Ugh. <laughs> Durpin was gonna go there. Durpin! Durpin was very excited. Uh, so now he's just gonna go hang out in the Dungeon of Deep Thought. <laughs> uh, Sounds right. And I'm going to shelf this H. H goes before I. Did you run through the alphabet that time? Mm. <laughs> now that I said it, I'm paranoid <laughs> that I'm gonna make a really stupid mistake. <laughs> I did it yesterday. Oh, O's are the trickiest, I'm gonna say. It's just right in the middle there, you know? We might not be the players for this game. <laughs> <laughs> I get to, I'm going to the no. Diviner's Hut. Uh, first player, please. And I'm drawing That's two cards. I know, I take oh, your shiny nice. token. And now I get two cards because I already had one assistant out. And now, Tyler, it is your turn again. Uh, Carb Gluck has to decide where he wants to go. Carb Gluck? Carb Gluck? Carb Gluck? Carb Gluck. Carb Gluck. Carb Gluck. Carb Gluck. The That's trash like, going. That actually does sound like something that like a gluten person would be allergic to. <laughs> <laughs> totally. One hundred percent. I don't think I can really go anywhere on any of those locations. I mean, you can go to the bookseller, yeah. but there's and nothing, nothing left. Okay. You can only go home. I can go shovel yeah, go some home. ash. But the good thing is, each round, another card will go to the permanent locations, and we'll have more locations available. So you won't be in this precarious situation of just going home. It's OK. Carb Gluck likes hanging out in the junkyard of enlightenment, so <laughs> he's a uh, He's gonna actually just shelve another oh, card. Up. Because I discarded those, does he get to do something? I don't think so, because mine says it it only, it's only when the location resolves. So not when a character triggers it? I, I think. I'm assuming that's what it means when the location resolves. It's like. Well, because it says the word resolves, it makes me think it's the resolution phase, which is after we've all had our three turns, then any red cards we resolve. Uh, so, Amy, look mad. you screwed over Tyler and he can't do his well, special action. Well, let's be clear, I did not only screw over Tyler, I also screwed over the other two players here. Fair. And myself for next turn. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Fair. <laughs> the great equalizer There's... is fire turning things to ash. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but to finish my turn, uh, Carb Gluck's gonna hang out here at the junkyard of Enlightenment and I'm gonna shelve uh, this D, seven out of seven, and I'm gonna go up above this H. Shelf oh. this D sounds like a really good. Yeah. Yeah. Shelf this D. Shelf this D. <laughs> and Shelf you this know what D. I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, it sounds really good. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you were saying? Yes. <laughs> for us DMs, this has a really good book, Dungeon Decorating for Dummies. So. Oh. 
And what's that listed under? <laughs> <laughs> yes, who's the author? <laughs> Does that have, have an ISBN number I can look up? Yeah, what's the Dewey Decimal on that? Is it my turn? Uh-huh. Okay, so she is going to go here and um, She's ready for she's ready for uh, aisle number two. Whoa, you're putting B's in row two. Guys, I've got B one, B seven, B eight, and who knows what's in my you hand. You could put it there too. Well, I I want to get my second row started. Oh. Like I'm ready. I need to get. I know I need to get to the base, and you I'm already to... like if I even if I do this block and I get twelve. Um, you're thinking about shelf stability. I'm thinking about shelf stability, and I'm thinking yeah. I I, I know that. Yeah, I, I need to get to the third row. She knows something. Card book doesn't trust her. Mm -hmm. We're also getting enough cards out that I'm starting to like try and figure out what like everybody's focus is. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Uh, just a real quick recap in case people zoned out during the how to play. The things we get points for at the end, one of them is a stable shelf with equal number of cards in each row. And one of them is being correctly in alphabetical order. Well, that just happens. Uh, you don't score points for anything out of order. Prominent works, which is the yellow card, the most of that, uh, not having that many band books, having a categorical variety, so you want a little bit of everything because whatever you have the least of times three gets you points, uh, and then your specific focus, your thing that you secretly know and no one else does, your category that gets you points. Mm. Just to throw UK up. Okay, is it my turn? I believe so because she put that second row B down. That is right. Uh, I'm also going to shelve. There's not much else to do. <laughs> yeah. Unless you want to go to the bookstore and stare at the empty shelves. Uh, I am going to put. You mean a building of ash? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, a B, including burglary for bunglers, up. Mm. Mm. Here. Uh, Spellsguard is going to also perform the home action, but because of my special power with Spellsguard, I get to do both home actions and can discard a card to repeat, which I definitely will. Uh, let's see. I like Spellsguard's ability. Okay, I'm gonna discard this L, and then I get to do both of my home actions twice. So I'm gonna draw two, and then play two. Now that we've played around, I'm instantly hating all of my choices. <laughs> You're like, why did I, you do that? I am right there with you. This logic that I had no longer makes any sense. <laughs> like, I'm gonna put the B8, not next to the B7, but on a totally different row. Cutting off this, like anything that could go here. But at also least, cutting off anything that could go here. But at least you like have used uh, uh, Chisara's power. Durpin is hanging out here, and yeah. honestly, I feel like Durpin's a I don't know, a little bit of a homebody. I, I feel like I want to like push it up. him out. <laughs> yeah. He's like, Durpin. Oh, Durpin. It's okay, because now it's the resolution phase. If there were any location cards that had a red title, we would resolve those now, but there aren't. So now we're gonna go in number order. The Diviner's Hut is gonna move to permanent locations, and then everybody just gets the pieces back, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, are you green? No, Not you're blue. Green. Thank you. Uh, and numbs. these get trashed, but they may be shuffled back in should we run out of locations. We have a Shelf Mason's Guild. Shift any number of adjacent cards in a single row of your library, any number of spaces in one direction. The local draft house, uh, the player on space, uh, everybody gets two draft cards that's in there at the end of the round, that's a red card. The gambling den, this happens multiple times in the turn. Um, starting with the active player, everybody names a category, then you draw four cards from the deck, and whoever had the most correctly their category gets to uh, oh my gosh, take all the matching cards. Oh that sounds awesome and fun. Yeah, you're just, it's you're real calling cool. it. Yeah, right. basically. Yeah. Um, and the mystery shack, name a category. Oh, so these will be revealed. There's four cards on this face down. And then when you go there, you get to name a category, peek at them, take anything that was that category, and then put the rest back. And you can shelve one of them. Ooh, a lot of spaces today. Mm -hmm. That's exciting. Big open uh, Sh Shasara is looking at what she can burn, and it's looking like that mystery shack is going to go real fast. Uh oh. To the oh okay, geez. well, cool. Maybe I should go there. Yeah, she's really uh, just giving us a heads she's, up, she's huh, calling Shasara? It out. You know what? You see, if you see cards on the playing field, do not think they are safe. 
I like the idea that calling uh, the fire department like ahead of time, saying like, "Hey, I'm gonna yeah. burn this place." Yeah, down. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See if oh, you can Shasara, stop me. Do you have to? Well, I'm yeah. made of fire. <laughs> it's going to happen. You touch me, you die. So I'm first player, and the gambling den is awesome. And the longer I'm there, the more I'm in the gambling draft. So I'm gonna go there first. Nice. Uh, starting with the active player and going clockwise, doesn't matter. All players name one unique category, then draw four. So I'm going to name the category, uh, oh, let's go historical volumes. Now I could have said my specialty, but I didn't want to, because then you guys would know mm -hmm. what my library focus yeah, is. Yeah, that's just what oh, someone who, with, with, with historical volumes, uh, well, library sucks. focus would say. Hmm. So I can take these two that have, oh no, just the one that I can take with historical volumes on it also has two fantastical fictions. <laughs> uh, so that sucks, but I can shelve one. Is it worth it? It's a minus two points at the end. I can always flip it upside down. Two points, that's not so many. Are you trying to trick me? No, I have two here. <laughs> um, so these get discarded. Gosh, that's a fun, that's a fun freaking turn. Yeah. Yeah. And also, now we know that Becca is afraid of banned books. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't want them. Um, I actually do not want to shelve that right now. Okay, well that's what I did, Tyler, up to you. Hmm. So the, the mystery shack, it works like the same way that the gambling den. But just with these four cards. But just with those ones? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's surprising that we drew those together. They do have yeah. similar mechanics, but different. Hmm. Cardbook likes mystery. So I'm gonna send one of my little gnomey guys over to the mystery shack. What are you gonna call it? Which uh, category? I'm gonna reference text. And that's the hourglass is reference text? Yes, Got so it. don't tell us what's in there. Just no, take anything with reference the text. Little, the magnifying glass and the, and the scroll. Yes, the hourglass is historical volumes. Oh, yeah. sorry. God, get your glass right. I don't know what's happening. Reveal uh, all that match that category so we can prove that you're telling us the truth. Oh, wow. Revealed. And that must be your library focus. Oh. <laughs> That's why the mystery Revealed. shack is risky. Ooh. Two you of those. So now this makes it less appealing for other people to go there. Yeah. And do we I have an idea? Do I get, both, I get both of these? You may shelve one and you get them both. Shelve one and I get them both? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to take them both, but I'm going to shelve this other H. Oh, so many H's. Right on top of it. You have an H heavy collection over there. Mm -hmm. And so we probably don't want to let Tyler get any more of the, the blue ones, the yeah. reference text. We should probably try and steal reference texts away from Tyler. Yeah. No. Or not discard them in an opportunity for him to take them. Um, with his power. What's happening with this local draft house? So uh, at the end of the round, Everybody who's here, we're gonna, you, if you're there first, will reveal two cards for each player that's there. Then you first get to pick your favorite and everybody keeps going in a draft style until there's no cards left. And who's in the Shelf Master, so Shelf Mason's Guild? Uh, that means you get to shift any number of adjacent oh. cards in a single row, any number of spaces in one direction. So if you had something in your hand yeah. you were trying to shelf. I'm not really a guild kind of person. That sounds very boring. Um, On it. You want to shift those A's I'm or B's around? I promise not to tell <laughs> Felicia Day. <laughs> Okay, I think I think I want to burn things. Um, evil. Totally evil. Totally so evil. evil. But I also I also want to play in the gambling den really bad. Okay, so gambling, gamble me up. Cool, you getting gambled? Name a category. Um, I want hourglass. I will take reference. No. Uh, historical volumes. Historical volumes. Yes, through time. History. I'll do monster mouths. Oh my gosh, you already have one, and I have none. And I have I have one, uh -oh. and you have three. Both of you. And you Yikes. have three. Oh, actually, okay, so whoever so has the most matching books takes the matching cards. So I've got three total, and you get one total. So I take them, uh, and I'm sorry, you get nothing, my friend. That's okay, because I wanted to be there in case somebody else puts their thing there. Okay, Amy, thank you so much for the gambling den, and since I won, I get to You're shelve welcome. a card. Thank you. <laughs> I'm playing this C, two out of nine. Uh, but it wasn't actually my turn. No, it so was, that was my turn. 
And now it's Clay's. Now it's my turn. Uh, and now that I've re finally realized after last round that the whole gelatinous cube power, sorry, Durpin's power. Durpin. Durpin. Makes Durpin. a lot more Very sense important. to get him out early. Durpin could really use a drink at the draft house. Uh, because you get to pull a card from anyone that goes to a location after you, yep. so it makes sense to be the first one there. <laughs> Something I meant to do at the beginning and never did is, uh, if all of us would point down below, we will tell the viewers which secret card is our library focus. That's the best one right there. There you go. Yeah, keep pointing, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, I guess I'm already in the gambling den. The mystery shack you already raided, so there's less to choose from, so it's less likely I'd get anything. The draft house is cool, but then I have to give you something random, which means I spread out my cards and you choose. But here's the thing, guys. After the resolution, the party's gonna be at the draft house. Oh my gosh, I get it. Lay. Poor Durpin is gonna be all alone, like, here you guys, I'm here, I'm ready to party, and no here's one the will thing. show up. But it's my birthday. Do you really want to be the people who don't show up to Durpin's party? Yeah. <laughs> you cannot guilt me into coming to the party. <laughs> You're right. I'm like Transylvanian <laughs> biblioteca. Oh, Transylvanian right. biblioteca. <laughs> oh, the volcanic biblioteca. On fire. Ooh, this uh, is on tough. Fire. This is real tough. Can what you also do I do? Play in the di diviner's hut. Yes, you can. Yes. Uh, That's right. Plenty of places for us not to go to your party. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to do my home power, and if I use my special bookworm, Svensgard. Svelsgard? Svelsgard. Yeah. He's svelte. Uh, I get to do both my home actions, and I can discard a card to repeat that. So I have so many cards in my hands, but I think I'm going to keep doing that. Um, hmm. That's what a crazy power if you accumulate a bunch of cards. Thank you. Play them all. I want to make sure that you go to the draft house so that you don't have that many cards anymore. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't want this S that has two fantastical fictions on it. That's lame. Okay. So if I discard that, I get to draw two and shelve two. Cool, cool. More fantastical fiction. <laughs> I'm going to shelve an R. Hope this wasn't a bad choice. And also, I'm gonna go for shelf stability, even though it's a fantastical fiction. Again, hey, I'm gonna do it. We've all got o. some fantastical fictions we've yeah. all gotta work through. It's true, <laughs> and I also am shelving the off kilter kilted killer. It's banned, but it's oh a great gosh. book. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> I love these people. Right, they're wonderful <laughs> people. It is funny what to look- What was his name? The name of the guy is really cool too. Oh, it's a wonderful name, and it is Adam P. McIver. McIver. Uh, Tyler, okay. what would you like to do? You know? Draft house. Draft, mm. draft house, draft, draft house. house. No, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do a little shelving, just oh, from my, just that's from my right. home base. Is hard for you? I mean, bam. Durpin's Throw hurt. Throw down a D, four out of seven. And I'm hurt I'm that nice my D. strategy yeah. is nice getting D. decimated. Yeah, I've, got, I've got double D. Okay, so now it's Amy's turn. So the 26th letter is Z, the 15th letter is, or 13th letter is M. So that means my letters, if like I've got A and B up here, out. that means that I could start, and B's here, N, N, yeah. Actually, anything through N could be here, and then T, uh, and then O through Z could be on the bottom. Yep. Okay, I'm doing great. So anyway, how to get it. that out of the way? You're math in it hard. Hardcore math. Yeah. Uh, the reason I know that M is the thirteenth letter is it's part of my name, and I it's like one thirteen twenty five. Whoa! Is my name. You've numerology to your name hard. Wow. Yeah. Love yeah. it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> he was born to play this game. I, I like, none of us even had any quips about that. We were just like, huh. Oh, <laughs> impressive. It does make sense. Okay, I actually this. want more cards. I really do. So I think I will burn down the mystery shack. Um, mm. I don't want to gamble about getting cards or not getting cards. I just want to take. Uh, I want I can those. do two, take and take. two home actions, which I will do draw two. I'm so sorry that She's your power has been. She's burning up all my trash. Yeah. Durpin wants to get out there early. Mm -hmm. I think the diviner's hut makes sense. I was gonna throw ah. that strategy out there for you. It's a good play. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't need your help. Well, oh. obviously not. Um, but you also get to, you get to draw. Yeah, you I get draw to draw a card. card. I think you get two. It's depending on how many other assistants are already out. So you get two cards because your gelatinous cube cube counts as an assistant, even Sweet. though it's a special assistant. Mm. And then you don't get to shelve. 
Right. Which makes it my turn. Oh man, well, definitely not going lead. to the trial. Everyone has five cards out now. Oh, except um, Durbin. I have six. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't listen. I'm not trying Durbin. to like stoke this feud. <laughs> oh well, that makes that's the difference between you and me. Can I, just I say mean, you're just you being a real Durbin. It. Yeah, and you're always a fire, so you're stoking everything. Yes, I'm a catalyst. <laughs> <laughs> I love gambling. I could go there again. Ooh, let's play. <sighs> Since I have two. Yeah, you'd have a better chance. All players. Um, for each assistant below, I would get to name two of the six categories. Mm -hmm. <gasps> that sounds so fun. Let's do it. I'm going to do it. Yes. OK. Do you get to name your two first, or how about you name one, I name Starting one? Starting with name active one. player and going clockwise, oh, each player's name one category for each of their assistants. So I guess I get to do both of mine first. What? Mm, red and yellow. Okay, red and yellow, and I shall do, I shall do um, purple. Red focus. What makes you think that? <laughs> I'm giving it away and I don't care. And you okay. did purple? purple? Okay. I guess, I guess a, it has to be a single one that earns it for me. And it, no it might be oh yellow no doing it. Oh, wow. Ooh. And you said purple, but there's only one. So I get to grab the yellows, oh. which is all of them. Dang. Uh, and then Ooh. I get to shelve one? May shelve one per player below. Right. So two? Yeah. I get to Yikes. shelve two. I'm not doing great in that gambling den. Well, it's really this, working. It's not feeling very fair. Look at hand too. I yeah. have too Practically many cards. Got a deck there. I really do. Uh, uh, okay. Boy. Hmm. That is, she has. That's intimidating. Let's see what else I got here. Okay. I guess may shelve two. You don't have to get up to I mean, nine or eight cards. I'm going to shelve a D. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Get out. Well, uh, it that was my turn, Tyler. You've got one more it's player, my, I've right? I've got I've got card gluck needs to go one. down. Oh yeah, I was first player, so you guys each have one more mm. assistant. All right, well, card gluck's like in the junkyard. I'm just gonna use my home my home play again. Your homie play. Throw down an E. Four out of seven. Nice. Uh oh. Uh. I wouldn't put it there if I were you. Oh my gosh, you're so, so this right. Is your turn, I'll let you. Oh my goodness. I'll let you undo your Wow, that's what actually. Happened? It's I, so unalphabetical. I just made my. <laughs> I just totally failed the alphabet. Song. Oh my well, gosh. Well, you pretend your hand's How still on it. There you oh, go. No. oh no. You no. should have numerology to your letters. <laughs> no. I didn't have it in my name. Wow. Right. Yeah, Carb it's luck. <laughs> Carb Gluck, I have tiny spectacles. Uh -huh. I, I can't even, like, yeah. I, I, it was hard for me to read the letter, actually. Isn't That's yes. the problem. The you knew. You were just role playing. Your it character just, didn't know. Carb Gluck, he yeah, needs, yeah. like, a little bit assisted. <laughs> He's, He's dyslexic. Guy. Oh, he wanted like to make Carb, sure. Carb Gluck's the sad one. Yeah, it looks like Carb Gluck, not Durpin's the sad You're one. Talking yeah. Yeah. Yourself, Durpin. Durpin. You're talking to yourself, Durpin. You're talking to yourself. No, it's the crowd. It's the You're general murmur. You're not even changing your voice. Uh, I, you were going for shelf I've, stability I, over alphabetizing. Yeah, I was. It makes sense. I, I've changed my mind about about your your snake. I like I like the snake now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like we can be friends. It smells good. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. I want to play gambling den again. Smart. Yay! Smart. What is your? Do I, I get to go first? You I want first. yellow and purple. No, actually, I want red. I want no. I don't. Let's see. I want blue and purple. Blue and purple. Yep. Uh, I'll take yellow and red. Okay. Okay. Mm. Oh no. Mm. Okay, so oh. blue one. Purple one. And purple, <laughs> purple two. But and yellow then and yellow red out of control. Three and red two. So yellow wins, and I can only take things for yellow. And you get your reds too. So it just many. worked out that way. And then I can shelve as many of these I, I've as I've lost I. every gamble. This oh, I can only shelve turn. two, one per player card, or per player piece. But she's going to be two away from. 12, and I have four cards out. Yeah, and I have five. I made mistakes, and mm. I am not ashamed. I'm a little ashamed. To be fair, I did play this once before, so don't feel bad. Also, like your dad says, you know. My dad says if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. How are you cheating? <laughs> <laughs> Tell us how you're cheating. I'm cheating because I've played this before, and you guys haven't. Fair. Yeah. That, yeah. That's, yeah, that was the advantage that well, I could have I and did take. I could have chosen differently in the gambling den, but I mm. just chose wrong. Go to her then home again, base and burn it down. 
<laughs> Done. <laughs> That'd be fun for you. Come on, Jasar. Do this for what? the town. I yeah, we need know. it. No. Okay, fine. <laughs> okay, I see. I'm gonna Too play much. a Y. And now I have a very stable bookshelf. Uh and an E right here. And there we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it because no you have you if have. If you want to keep six. explaining yeah. why you're beating us, you can. You That's can. the whole point of the show. You totally but can. I'm gonna be honest. I think it makes you look bad. Fair. It's fair. Yeah. No, I do that. Okay. A lot. You're up. Two more cards for her, and then we only have one more round. Yeah. yeah correct. Not so okay. I Total am uh, did going the thing. Did the thing to around. put this eye here. Ah. Perfect eye placement. Good eye placement. Okay. Now we go to the resolution phase, which means the local draft house. So you, Clay, we're going to draw two cards. Per, per. Per player there. Per player, so we've got how many people came to oh, Durbin's yeah. party? Oh Durbin did. Because Durbin came to Durbin party. Okay, Durbin's so party. two. So we get to see them. Oh, I want that, and I want that. I bet you do. Them. Wish I'd come to your party. Yeah. You get to take them both. <laughs> Nice. Good job. Well great, well done. great party. I, I, you know, I would have, I RSVP'd and then I, a thing came anything. up. Don't, don't try, <laughs> don't try this. Yeah, a thing, a thing, you know. Now, yeah. Tyler, what's your cool power again? I don't get to junkyard anything. Because Amy burns everything. Yeah, there's no, oh the there's no books left. <laughs> okay, we've got a community center. Read that aloud. That sounds great. Community center. Take one card from this location, then give one of the remaining cards to an opponent. Both cards may be shelved, and we have to deal four there. Oh, you share. Okay. Amy, what do you have? Uh, this is the Librarian's Lodge. You may perform the following actions once each in any order. Move one of your previously placed assistants from a location to one of your home action spaces and activate it, which is great. Swap yeah. one card from your library with any card in your hand, another card in your library, or to any allowed position in your library. So you get to, like, bounce around a bit. Awesome. Pretty. Great. Librarian's Lodge. It's swapping. Assistance Guild, move one of your previously placed assistants from a home action space to a space occupied by an opponent's assistant. Return their assistant. If the effects, if the location's effect is instant, activate. So wow. you get to, uh, and only one person is gonna get to use this. Uh, this is one of my favorites because it's so simple. Yield book swap. There's gonna be three cards here. If you go here, you trade one card from your hand from one at the location. Mm. Will so there something be? for Amy to burn and for Tyler to not get to pick from. The problem hand. is, Tyler, if there were more, like if there were more cards that had, that, I could only burn one. Yep. But <sighs> there was the only one to burn, so now I know what exactly to burn. It's yield book swap. Totally. And I didn't mention as I did it, the gambling den had the lowest number in the upper left-hand corner, so I moved it to permanent locations. Awesome. Now, awesome. Clay's yeah. first player. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna make uh, Chisara have to work for any burning she does. Okay. Uh, Durpin's going to the ye old book swap. Oh my gosh, go to the gambling den, come on. Yeah, she, you can torture. Come on, no. gambling den. No, because now if you want to burn, the, burn these, you gotta pay Durpin, old Durpin attacks. Mm -hmm. And so I take- Your, your motives are, are wrong. It shouldn't be versus <laughs> me, it should be versus Becca. And Becca's gonna go for that gambling den. Yeah. And that's where you should go. Yeah. Because every time something- Well, here's the thing. I also wanted one of, those. Wanted one of these, Fair although, enough. oh no, placement is very bad. Difficile? Oh, we also need, um, a, we need a deal for here as well. Hey! Oh, thank you. Hey, there you go. Excellent. Take right, one. Actually, if you don't mind, instead of H, I'm gonna take T. Oh. Uh, and put it. But don't you have to swap it? Yes, so I'm taking one and then I'm putting, hey, if anybody wants this G, go ahead. <laughs> okay, that's my turn. Pretty a good turn. Let's do my cool bookworm ability. I'm gonna put them at home. I'm going to discard one to draw two and shelve two, thus triggering the end game. No. <gasps> yes. so, now it's just one, so now it's just one more turn? Uh, or do we get to finish the we'll round? We'll finish the round and then we'll do a whole nother round. So it actually is a oh, little while. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's I was panicking because I genuinely You've thought got time. it was You've got time. Oh, we, all right. Not we, much. We, we got some plays now. I'm now, discarding. we can oh, lean nothing. back. Oh, because we we've lost. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so now is when what? we okay. stop trying. Shelve I'm confused. Why, why didn't you want this card? Uh, <laughs> 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 the one with three banned books on it? Just, you know, why not, not my type of literature. Show? Uh, take one card from this location, then give one of the remaining cards to an opponent. Both cards may be shelved, because you have to help people. Mm -hmm. Oh, community. 
community. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is. Or it's an evil no community. It really does. And you give them the bad cards. Ooh, this is a, my favorite card ever. Okay, I'm gonna play a K. There we go. I'm very proud that my bookshelf Sorry. is nice and stable. Yeah, it's out of control. Uh, I, my strategy was draw as much as possible, which my special bookworm allowed me to do. So I've had like a crazy amount of cards to choose from each time that I show. Yeah. That's the secret mm. of life. Carbglick's gonna no, send one of his gnome minions over to the uh, community center. And I'm gonna take a card uh, and I'm gonna take this guy. But who are you gonna give a card R66. to? You know what, Derpin? I feel like we can become friends. So I'll give I'll give you I'll give you the uh, but this this O. I'm gonna give you this O over there. And both of these can be shelved. We can we can both shelve. Oh Yeah, see I think we've got a little alliance going. Now, just so you know, shelf stability doesn't even get you three points unless you put a another one. I know. Nice. I'm gonna need another one eventually. It's a good amount of letters in between there though. Yeah. Uh my turn. It's me. I want that gambling done. I want that gambling done so hard. And I want purple. I want it Ooh. real bad. Purple? No. Oh, yeah. Oh, Go purple. for it. Purple. No. And oh. no. Oh, you get one. My God. Man, Not those purples out. aren't coming up. It's the shuffle. But I get it's to shelve shuffle. it and I shall be. You know what comes after B? C. Guys, I, I have love... the first part of the alphabet covered. You got your ABCs <laughs> down. Okay, okay. Uh, that's my turn. Play. Back to you. Oh, I should plan and uh, scheme. You know what? Let's gamble. Do it. Nice. Oh my gosh, this is Roll gonna be fun. Dice. Play, choose okay. first. Uh, and I choose A, one. One category. One per thing. Uh, so I'll do reference texts. The blue. Okay, the blue. and I want black. Ooh, mm. the, the, the forbidden, well, I forget. Okay. It's like. Neither. <gasps> A one blue. for blue. A blue. Nothing. And uh, black, black, you're tied. So in this case, it, ooh, give me that G. If they're in the case of a tie between the active player and any other players, the active player wins. Sorry. No, <laughs> I just want to win a gamble. So I take this, oh. and yes. the others are discarded. Because you were the and active player. And I can player. shelf it. Shelve it. Uh, I'm gonna go. I don't want. Here. I just don't want to lose. Ooh. Is the thing. Like I don't want to be the last uh -uh. one with well, the fewest points. I and mean, I think just, that's how it's going. We could just. And I not, feel bad. Uh, uh, we could just score. not read those points out loud. We could just. And the top three points <sighs> values are. <laughs> well, we'll see. You never know. Oh. You, know, <laughs> you look so wistful right now. <laughs> I'm about to pray. <laughs> are you remembering a time when you thought you might win this game? It was round one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and only round one. Ah, uh, way back in round one, when we were young and we <laughs> thought we might have a chance of beating Becca. I, you, you know what's bad is I have a sister who is just luck central, like she is lucky, and my grandfather's name nickname was Lucky, and she inherited that luck. And it is one of those things where it's like whatever happens, like she'll just win. And I got the opposite. It's just like. Whatever I play, uh -huh. I won't win. And that's why I like D&D, &D, because nobody wins. <laughs> <laughs> but losing all the time can get to you. Hmm. I know what I'm doing with my turn. Okay. I am going to go to the Assistance Guild. Maybe mm. this is a waste of an assistant, but whatever. Move one of your previously placed assistants from a home action space to a space occupied by an opponent's assistant. Return their assistant if the location's effect oh. is instant activated. She's gonna be so mean. I'm gonna gamble. Oh no, um, so mean. So I get to screw over one of you guys, and I think I'm gonna screw over Play. Why? Oh, uh, uh, so but, cruel. But, it, but it doesn't, it's actually kind of good for you because you get to place that guy again. Yeah, but. And you but just won the gamble. gamble. You just won the gamble. Yeah, I'm Fine. doing it. And I have never won the gamble. That's true. You I haven't. want Amy to win the gamble. I didn't want to take her out of no, the running. No, you don't. Uh, no, you don't. <laughs> play this stuff. No, I really don't. Go ahead and gamble. Right, okay. I don't. Uh, red, obviously, since you guys know uh, I'm okay. going for it. I'll do purple. <laughs> okay. One of these has got to. Purple! Oh my gosh! Three purple, the one red, in the first yes. card. Okay, I think you got this. I hope so. Oh, four to four two. Four to two. Come on, red. Nope. Okay. Ooh, Amy, it is oh, yours. You get to gosh. take both of these Huge. and you can shelve one of them. Oh, uh, the RNG gods have blessed Huge. me and I thank you so much. I'm back in the game. It feels real good. Here's some shelf stability with an S on the bottom. Well, that was my wasted turn and I wish I had just gone to my home space, but it was fun. It was fun. We all had fun. And now Clay gets an extra turn. Yeah. Tyler. 
I'm going with one of my minions to the junkyard of enlightenment, and we're just gonna shelve a card. Bam. Ooh. I'm pretty confident that that, that A goes before D now too. I, mm. I think I, I think I got this one. We're gonna give you one chance to redo <laughs> that. Uh, they moved A to the end of the alphabet. Right, I'm gonna actually. discard all the community center, <gasps> uh, and I'm gonna do two shelvings. Whoa. H I, yeah. Smart. No, I don't, actually don't want that card, so I'm gonna do I instead, and then I'll do a T down here. Smart, because now you are eligible for shelf stability. It has I'm to be eligible at for least some too shelf wide. stability. Please. And that's my turn. Feeling good about it. Sorry, Tyler. <laughs> Although you still get some Yu-Gi-Oh! bookshop with so tons sad. of greens in it. So sad. Okay, uh, now that I've got this extra guy, this actually does help me. I'm gonna go to the Librarian's Lodge. Uh, and I'm gonna activate the second ability so I can swap a card from my library with any card in my hand, another library card, or, yeah. Uh, so I am going to swap this O with this P because that's what I was saying earlier really screwed me up. <laughs> gotcha, you really wanted that P out there. Yeah, uh, okay. That's my turn. Oh, I just realized I was real dumb. Wait, you still have you still have another thing you can you can do both of those actions if you want. Oh, I thought I could only do one. No, you can do both in oh, any I'm order. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, so I guess I would have. Yeah. So you know what? Uh, no one seems to be using Durpin, so he's gonna s sadly scuttle back to the dungeon <laughs> of deep on. thought. Nice. Uh, I'm going to shelve this. E here, and then I'll activate that to switch out the P with the O. See, like, we're on the same Thank team. You. You're very welcome. I didn't want that to go unnoticed, and maybe hey. you could throw me a bone. You're not so terrible, Chisara. Well, thank you. I oh no, you lost yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You turned back up. I want a lot of things, but I can only do one thing. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to also go to the Librarian's Lodge because I also didn't realize you could do both of yep. those things. I'm gonna move the guy from the Assistance Guild, and then I get to shelve a card. Let's put down this T. Uh, great, 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 great. And then, B, swap one card from your library with any card in your hand. I don't actually want to do that. In the interest of time, do you guys mind if Tyler goes while I still decide what to swap? Yes. I'm fine with that. Okay. Fair. I am going to send Carb Gluck to my home base, the Junkyard of Enlightenment, and keep playing from here. Nice. Um, I'm going to gamble. Like a boss. Um, and she's going to choose, um, bull, wait, hold on, no, four, um, okay, I want, I want yellow and black. Oh, I'm gambling too. Yes. Mm -hmm. You only get one though. Blue. Blue, or yellow and black. There's a yellow and a black, there's a yellow and a blue. Yellow's in the lead. There's a blue. Blue's tied, but it goes and to And a yellow, player. black, and blue. Oh shit. So uh, three yellow, yellow wins. wins and it goes to active player. Three yellows or three blues. Did you say blue? I did. Um, three yellows, three blues, or two blacks. Oh, okay. It's it me. goes to active player, so Sweet. you can shelve two of them because you have two pieces there. Oh Damn, my gosh. Piece. So I'm gonna go back to Yield Bookshop and I'll take this V, swap it with um I'm not doing anything with this S, uh, and put, and I'll shelve that there, and that's it. I'm going to, I was still trying to decide my Librarian's Lodge, but I didn't want to keep you guys waiting. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this E out of my hand and put an I down instead. I, J, K. Okay, great, that makes sense. <sighs> so we're done this round? And, we are. Uh, yeah, I just placed mine. Yep. Oh, wow, Card these shelves. gets to do something. Oh my god, at I long get, last. I get, to, I get to take one of these guys. We've got an H, a G, and an S. Yes, uh, Carb Book gets to do something, so I'm gonna take the H 10 out of 10 and put it right there. Mm. That looks gorgeous. Mm, yes. uh, all right. Okay, hey. so now Ye Old Book Swap is the number two, so it's gonna move to a permanent location. Everybody get their pieces back. Awesome. There's no more red locations this round. Uh, who's green? I am. I feel like I'm back <laughs> in the game. <laughs> 
Uh, everybody Garbage read hey, one block. real quick. <laughs> okay. Um, tax collector, in turn order, each opponent must discard one card to this location. Uh, you may discard X cards to take X cards from this location. You may shelve any and all of the newly acquired cards. Awesome. So you could shelve up to three with that. Yeah. Yeah, there are no uh, uh, cards in the beginning, though. Mm. So Auction House, it's a delayed effect, so it's not instant. And you deal three cards there that'll be face up so you can see them. And then there's four spaces like that because it's kind of a weird one. It says, when placing, choose a bid space, one, two, three, or four, return any outbid assistants that are already there to their player. Uh, so if you outbid someone, they get their guy back. During the resolution, the highest bidder must discard a number of cards equal to their bid to take and or shelve the three auction cards. So Sweet. it's like, you don't get to do it till the end, but could be big. Uh, name one of the six categories, then search the, through the discard pile and take any one card containing a book of your named category and shelve it. That but sounds... only one person can do that. Oh, that's super powerful. That's pretty fun. This is Donation Center, uh, two spots available. You may discard one or more cards, then shelve up to two cards from your hand. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Discard one, shelve two. Okay. Ooh, okay. All right, Clay, you are first. Oh, do we have to deal cards out? You know what? I guess I guess I we'll do that. Just Probably. to the old book swap and the oh. oh and the auction. The old book swap gets three cards. Oh man, there's so many locations now. And then auction house also gets three. Oh man, you guys, this is nuts. But I'm going to immediately go to four on the auction house. He's I a crazy wanted to. Man. <laughs> Okay. I would have done it if you hadn't. Yep. That's it. Do you get my... to shelve all of them too? Is that why? Or... If I win, yeah. Oh which my I will. Goodness. But I'll have to discard four mm. cards. Yeah, but. That's a great end, man, end I wish game I'd done move. It. Yeah. Ugh, I wish I'd done it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to gamble and I'm going to say blue. Come on, baby. <gasps> yes. No. But can I shelve it is the thing. Nope, I can't. Okay, I only get one card, and I could shelve it immediately, but that throws off my whole steez. I'm going out in alphabetical order, and it hurts me. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put another eye out of order. Okay, mm -mm -mm. Tyler. Okay, I'm gonna send. I gotta go investigate the garbage. It's right? kind of where you belong. So I name a card. You I name, name a, a category. I name a category. Okay, so I want to name uh, the hourglass guys. Cool. Historical historic volumes. Historic volumes. So I can take anything that has a historic. You get one, one card. Right, so one you might as well sort them all out. Yeah. I'm gonna do um, the uh, center, the downtown center, or what Donation? is it? Donation. Donation. Discard one card. Shelve two from your hand. Yes, that is what I'd like to do. I'm okay. going to discard uh, this one, and I'm going to play her and her. And I'm done. Excellent. Uh, that's a discard, got it. Clay, what will you do? Um, okay, 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 okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to... I took my card. Did you shelve it? I did. Oh, you put another R in there? Oh, man. Uh, you know what? This a is... Stable shelf. Uh, I'm going to uh, put a guy on the Diviner's Hut so I get to draw two because I already have a guy out. Okay. Um, sure do. Okay. Discard one to shelf. Okay. I'm going to do my special action with my bookworm. I get to do my home action twice because I discard something else. Uh, yep, I don't want. All of these are out of alphabetical order. I will discard an L in order to draw up two and then lay two down. I definitely want to put down an S right here. And then I'm going to throw down a whew. What did I just pick up? Okay. You can draw two and shelve two in the same Shit. turn? Uh, yeah, yes, because of thing. my Dang. my bookworm ability, which is a dope. Yeah, sounds OP. It's OP. Um, my problem broken. is. Game's broken. Game's broken. 
Uh, I know what my next move is. I know, I'm ready. Can I, blow your mind. Since we let Tyler do it, the one that I was just placing, can I slide it around a little bit? Do them in a different order? Yes, I say yes. Okay. Sure. Wait, can you cheat? She was nice <laughs> to me. I, my turn hasn't ended and I'm placing two. I just placed one before I had looked at the two I just picked up. I mean, we all know she's gonna win. Yeah, so. I'm, I'm I sure don't know it's that right. I will, though. <laughs> I'm okay. sure it's correct. Okay. Okay, my turn. Shelving a card. Bam. Nice. Be book swaps gone out of here by bitches. Bernie burn, burn. Come on. So I get to do two home so actions, cool. and that means I'm going to draw one, and I'm going to play one. Uh, and in a very sad thing, Durpin never having gotten anything from anyone, no one ever visited him, <laughs> uh, is just gonna hang out in the dungeon of oh. deep thought and Shelvin H. So Aww. sad. Okay. Wait, was that your cool, your cool ability? You were like, I know what my turn's gonna be. Yeah, yeah. No, that's just to get in your head. Oh. He blew our minds. He blew my mind. <laughs> he did something to my mind. <laughs> blew your mind yeah. with how boring that turn was. Yeah. All right. I have one more. Uh, all right. Everyone so but Clay I. has one final turn, and then, then we will count up points. I am deciding between the tax collector and the gambling den because I don't want to play any of the cards in my hand. Uh, I think it's better to take my bets with gambling yeah, than take gambling's your guys' always, trash. Yeah, gambling's always been pretty great. And I actually get to name two categories oh, because true. I have two mm -hmm. um, assistants there. So I'm going to say I would like, I'm gonna do red and, uh, and purple. Red and purple. One of each. One of each. But I know where to place it. <gasps> no. no. Nothing. Red. There's We're a red. red. Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, so red red wins. wins, which is something I can oh, place. That's, that's, <gasps> that was a perfect card that for you. Worked that worked out really so bad. well for me. All of the rest oh, of mine so in my hand stupid. were alpha no, Cheating. Uh, Broken not alphabetical. Game. Broken. Broken game. It's busted. I'm sorry, um, MacIver, Mr. MacIver. It's busted. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, we're not so winning? Like, yeah. Busted. Busted. <laughs> yeah. Okay, final All right. turn. Carb Gluck, love in his junkyard. Also gets Whoa. to finish this off, though. That is, do you have any cards? Zero cards. You, do you wow. have cards? 12 points for shelf stability. Yes, I do. I have hella cards. Okay. You do tax I, want, you do, I want tax collector. So y'all put in your cards. I know you don't have any. That's okay, so cool. give you my worst card is what you're saying. Yes. Uh, sure. There's a C for you. Hmm. Oh, you dick. Oh, right. <laughs> um, You're welcome. Um, how about an F? Oh, I could still play that, and that's not the worst, actually. Okay, I'll take it. That F is going to do some work for me uh, right here. Well, hi, 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 Durpin's H. Oh, okay. your libraries okay. are overlapping. Oh, you're going to flip that. And the C. You're going to flip that B and C. <laughs> oh, the B and the C. Uh, oh, you going to flip a B? Oh shit, I, I put it here too. Oops, oh well. Um, oh okay. wait, no. wait, oh shoot, you're right. I didn't see that. Oh guys, I think oh, well. that's it. That was the, the final, end? final turn. Okay, <laughs> a lot of things happen now. No, just a few things. So y I guess you get to also look oh, through. Wait, do those this cards get stay discarded? There? You may discard. Yeah. Yeah, so wait, you get to take one? one of those trashy trashes. Can I use Give me that? Does it say you no, can show? I can do oh, it. Sorry. I'm using the P. Right? And you could shelve all three. Oh, huge. oh I can. Uh, the auction house is going to resolve. So, Clay, what are you going to do with those three cards? I'm going to perfectly oh. slot them Get out of all like oh, that. Oh, my wow. gosh. You thought about that a lot. <laughs> Pretty great. That one so, actually did blow my mind. Yeah, that was mm -hmm. awesome. Okay. There's your piece back. Goodbye, auction house. And then next is the donation center. Good oh, I had to discard four also because my bid went. Game four anyway. Doesn't matter. Okay. And then tax collector, you actually have to get go to, through that junk. I get to garbage dumpster dive, and I'm going to take that P and put it right there. Okay, guys. Woo. You know what's fun about scoring? Uh, scoreboards. Nice. Oh, this is the official library inspection form B7C. Okay, so alphabetical order check. Uh, also check your number order. I have two I's in a row, but one is a three out of eight and one is a one out of eight. So before the inspector gets there, I'm gonna choose which to flip, which is dependent on who has the most yellows. Oh. Oh, 
Okay, guys, I am ready with all of my perfect math that no one helped me with. Mm -hmm. And let me read the scores. So, doing all of them were very close scores, let me say. Amy, don't look so sad and depressed. I, I need to go to therapy. <laughs> so let's say, um, in the 40s, tied for third. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Tied for third. Uh, with, I'm like sweating. With <laughs> I respectively 46 and 48 so points was Amy and Clay. Well done, guys. Uh, you performed valiantly. <laughs> I think, Clay, you were a little too um, carefree with those fantastical fictions being banned. Well, I was also expecting people to Clay. be guilted into going to Durpin more. <laughs> I did nothing wrong. I'm just a loser. You're just a perfect, <laughs> perfect person. In second place with 55 points is Tyler. Well done, Tyler. Thank you. And uh, I won done. with 64 Good job. points. All right. Well, well, yeah, well, well, well deserved. I don't, I don't need this. It's OK. I Good didn't job. deserve it. Well played. Yes. Way to understand that banned books are bad. I, uh, I really, what I was working on, which you guys did really well, was having some of Everything. The yeah. categorical variety was what I was working on, and I got lucky winning historical volumes. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there was also you. You got so just a number of books out were ahead of everyone else so much that really? I feel like we all panicked a little. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> like absolutely. I felt like I did. I like w made some weird choices with placement at the end, and I shouldn't have done that B thing that I did at the beginning. That's, that's okay. It, it's not okay. Becca was shelving books Here we go. like it was out of style. It was like, the bookworm. The bookworm did it. Yeah, I like his special ability. Good. I think she's broken. I think <laughs> she's the broken part of the game. Is that well, it part? all depends. If we had not left Durpin, Durpin. all by his lonesome, I then know, maybe that, we'd But that seems like an easy character to skip. Like an easy <laughs> yeah. hero to like, eh, no, don't want to play with I thought there were going to be more opportunities cute. where it was a place where people like, well, I got to go there. Yeah, right. yeah. It's true. Uh, great, guys, thank you so much for coming and being on the show today. Of course. Thank, thank you for you. having us. Yeah, thank it was you. such a pleasure. And thank you guys at home for watching. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, I am very, very proud of you. <laughs> and we will see you next week for a brand new game. Bye.